What's up, ladies and fine gentlemen? It's your boy here, Sammy G. Today, we're going to talk about Trey Lance. I know y'all seen the new video, him fix, fixing that throwing motion. Trey Lance's throwing motion is looking faster and quicker than ever. Now, obviously, I'm skeptical, just like the rest of you guys, you know. Can he translate that <clears throat> into high-pressure games? We don't know until, you know, the actual games happen. But I think he can. I think he knows what's on the line here. I think both of these guys know what's on the line here. Because let's face it, if Trey Lance doesn't perform well, Brock Purdy has a job. If Brock Purdy can't play or he doesn't perform well, Trey Lance is going to end up having a job. So both these guys know what's at stake here. And this is really, you know, the turning point of these guys' careers and where they end up turning out to be. So, I mean, they really need to look at them. Now, as many of you already know, training camp's about to start. Comment down below who you guys think is going to shine. I'm looking for... I'm looking for Dre Jackson to shine, B.A. I know Brandon Ayuk's going to do good. A professional, professional. Obviously, you know, you know the guys that are always going to perform. Christian McCaffrey, Fred Warner, them type of guys. But my main concern is, is how is Debo going to play? Because the Debo last year is the Debo I don't want. So, he... Hopefully, you know, he looks like he's been staying in shape. He looks like he's been doing what he needs to do. You know, not eating as much donuts or whatever, but that's for another day. But he seems like for the most part, he stayed out of drama. He stayed out of, you know, all that. And he's just been putting in the work. He's been with Saquon Barkley, I believe so. He's putting in work. So hopefully, you know... Debo, because I love Debo, man. He's one of my favorite players on the 49ers. But, you know, I don't think as a fan we could tolerate another year of Debo showing us what he showed last year. I mean, I don't know about you guys, you guys but, like, I don't want that type of player on, on our team, you know? If that's the case, trade him, get him out of here. You know what I'm saying? Because we're trying to win a Super Bowl this year, as we have these many years, you know. So hopefully this year's our year. I'm calling it. This year's our year, knock on wood. We'll win the Super Bowl. If you guys think we'll win the Super Bowl, put it in the comments down below. As far as, you know, any other conversations you guys want to have. You know, there's a lot of conversations to be had, especially, you know, ahead of, you know, Training camp in the season I'm gonna start here soon. I can't wait to see what the 49ers have in store. Especially, man, th this quarterback situation, it's it's just always it's just always something to talk about. It's just so interesting. Like, you know, don't get me wrong, I loved what Brock Purdy did for us. But it's like, man, I want Trey Lance to shine. I know this guy has the potential to become one of the greats of greats. He, you know, just give him that shot, and hopefully he shows us that he is because you just see him putting in the work. You see how much a professional professional he is. Just like, dang, just give him the shot, you know. You know, Trey, Trey Lance is coming, man. Trey Lance is the GOAT, you know, in my opinion. In my opinion, don't be attacking me in the comments. Don't be attacking me in the comments. He's my GOAT. As far as, you know, who's on the quarterback team right now, you know. Not all time goes, obviously. You know, that's for another discussion. You know who the real 49ers QB goat is. Don't any of y'all be saying Jeff Garcia. Y'all know who the real goat is. Nah, but. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. Let me know. Let me know who you guys think down in the comments. Who you think is going to shine? Who you think is going to fall? You know? I just seen a video about Brock Purdy. I think he was training in Florida. I think he was thrown a little bit. I think... I think he I think he realizes what's at stake, too. I think he's kind of... Even though 
hopefully he is at 100% because even if he's not, I feel like he, he would kind of push himself into that situation, knowing what's at stake. Because if Trey, you know, if he, if Bob Purdy can't play and that's really his only competition, you know, I did that, you know. I don't really think he's competition for Trey Lance. I just think physically gifted wise, Trey Lance is just a lot better. So if he just gets a hold of that poise that Brock Purdy has, which, man, Brock Purdy's the king of poise, you know. I think uh, it's going to be hard training camp preseason for Brock Purdy, but. Uh, he's gonna have definitely. In my, if I was him, I even if I was not 100 percent, no one wants to say, you know, seeing what Trey Lance is doing. Yeah, I'm gonna be pushing myself out there for sure. That way I can get up out there. But hey, I'll uh, holler at you guys whenever training camp's over. Here's my dog. Come here. Let's see if he comes this game. There he is. Give me some My dog thinks Trey Lance is going to be the GOAT. Trey Lance? Maybe not. Alright guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you all. Uh, let me know in the comments what y'all think. Who you think is going to shine? Who you think is going to fall? I'll holler at you at the next one. This is your boy Sammy G. Peace out.